Guys, this is not a drill. The rumored Rebel 1100 that everybody's been going back and forth about whether it actually is going to exist or not is confirmed. And by confirmed, I mean like it's on the Honda website. It's a real thing that's happening coming out in 2021. So I just found out. We're gonna dig into the details and look at some of the specs of it. I'm stoked. Perfect. All right, welcome back to Life of Birch. You might think it's a little bit weird that I'm this excited about the Rebel 1100 if you know about the fact that I made a video a little while ago saying that I was not excited and I did not want a Rebel 1100. But the main reason for that was just because I thought that the bike was gonna end up being too big and too heavy and not have the same characteristics or feel of the Rebel 500 or 300. So I wasn't super excited about it and I voiced that opinion. I said that the bike would be nice, just not with the Rebel name, but Honda put me in my place, like honestly. I've only been looking at it for like a couple minutes before I started making this, but what I've seen so far, I could not be more excited about this bike. So does this mean that I'm gonna end up selling my Rebel 500 and the VFR in order to get this bike when it comes out in January? That's to be determined, but either way, oh my God, guys, let's, let's check it out. <laughs> All right, I gotta sit down for this one. This is too much. All right, so like I said, I just started looking over this, but the key thing to point out is that it's gonna come in at only $92.99, so about 9,300 bucks. That is definitely cheaper than what the speculation was. People were speculating it would be like 10 or $11,000, which at that point wouldn't make much sense given its competition and their prices, but 9,300 bucks is not bad. Um, you can either pick from this color right here, which they call the Bordeaux red, metallic which I actually like a lot or you can go with the uh, the traditional metallic black which is uh, that one um, my biggest concerns like I said were that it was gonna be big and heavy and not look the same not feel the same but when I say that I was wrong like I was wrong um, not only can you tell it obviously looks very similar to the uh, the rebel that we know and love right now but Honda was able to make this only weigh 79 pounds more than the Rebel 500, which I was expecting it to be like a 600 pound bike, but it's coming in at only um, 487 pounds, which is like not bad at all. And as far as dimensions go, I mean, the seat height is only 0.3 inches taller than the Rebel 500. So if you got one of the Rebel 300s or 500s because of the low seat height and um, having that make it easier for you to ride, that's not an issue at all with this. Um, another thing to mention that's pretty crazy also is that it also is gonna be available in the automatic DCT transmission. Um, so that will add some weight to it. But if that's, you know, what you're after, then that's awesome. I know like the C the Honda CTXs and things like that have the DCT engine, or I'm sorry, transmission, but I was not expecting the Rebel to have it. So that's pretty cool. I obviously would opt to not have that because I prefer to have the manual transmission. But if that helps you, then that's awesome. It's also worth noting that it says here that it's going to have um, throttle by wire. So instead of having like an actual throttle cable, it'll have the uh, electronic throttle. I've actually never ridden a bike with that. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. So I guess we'll see how that plays out. I also read on here that every single one is going to have ABS now, so it's not going to be an option. So, you know, I think that that will be good for um, most riders. I feel like ABS helps and they say that you don't need it until you need it. And if you if you get in an emergency situation, it's nice to have. For me personally, when I get this bike, not if I get this bike, when I get this bike, of course, I'm gonna want to do wheelies and burnouts and all kinds of shenanigans on that. So personally, I wouldn't want ABS, but I'm obviously in the vast minority, so I can see how that would be uh, appealing. Now, I know there was a lot of rumors and speculation about the engine on this and people saying that it wouldn't be an 1100, that it would be an 800 and they would take, or a 700, whatever, and one of those two, and they would take it out of the um, Africa Twin. And I don't know enough about the Africa Twin bikes to know if this engine came out of the uh, Africa Twin or or if this engine shares characteristics with another bike, I'm sure it does, but it's a an 1100, so it's 1,084 cc's, liquid cooled, and it's a parallel twin, so it's still just a little two cylinder. I say little, but it's 1100, you know what I mean? So that's nice, that's a, you know, one way that they're obviously keeping the weight down there. And then another thing,
thing that I noticed that I thought was really cool, you can't really tell there, um, but another thing that I thought was really cool is that when you look at the picture of it, you can see that it has the bigger front wheel, which I think makes it look sick. It's actually an 18 inch front wheel as opposed to 16. So it obviously has the, uh, the more narrow tire as opposed to the big fat tires that are on the front and back of uh, the Rebel 500 and Rebel 300. And you go to the gallery, I mean, you can see like it looks exactly, not exactly, but very similar to the Rebel that we know and love now. The tank is a little bit bigger, which is awesome. Um, it goes from 2.96 gallons to, I believe it was 3.6 gallons on the uh, 1100, so that'll get you further. They haven't said anything about what the miles per gallon are gonna be, um, but I'm sure we'll find out that soon enough. Another thing that I noticed, which is cool, is that now the front fender and rear fender are both color matched on both colorways, whereas before they had like the cheap plastic fender in the front, and then some of the colorways had just the flat black rear fender. I didn't mind that, but honestly, like it's hard to tell on the black, but on the Bordeaux red, it looks super slick with uh, the color matching. And you can obviously tell also that the seat is a lot more padded, which is one of the big complaints that everybody, myself included, have with the Rebel 300 and the Rebel 500. So I'm sure that will be a lot more comfortable for you. And then you'll see like, even though it's an 1100 motor, it really doesn't fill out the frame a whole lot. So it still has that kind of like sleek, minimalistic look. So I love that. And then it looks like it actually has um, piggyback shocks on the rear. So one of the other big complaints is the suspension on the Rebel 300 and 500. So it has that little piggyback reservoir. So it'll be interesting to see how it handles. I was reading that it's adjustable. I think it said it was adjustable in a few different ways because it said something about tuning in the suspension for the canyons. So that will be awesome. Um, definitely excited to see that considering how lackluster, if you will, the suspension is on the 300 and 500. I'm also noting that the forks are actually totally blacked out. That's slick looking. So normally the top parts are chrome on the 300 and 500. That looks like it's blacked out. So that looks super slick. Looks like the bars are a little bit higher and brought back some. Still has the LED headlight. And I mean, honestly, it just looks like a super improved version of the 300 and 500. Based off of the prototypes and whatever um, that I had seen for it, I thought it was not gonna look like that. I feel like the pictures made it look a little bit different unless that's just me it could be but uh i am i'm blown away like i am blown away this bike looks incredible chef's kiss oh here's another thing worth noting as i just pulled it up so the dct um transmission that i was mentioning is in a 700 dollars difference so it goes from 9300 to 10,000 if you're going with the dct automatic transmission yeah i mean i don't really know what else to say it's just it's incredible. It, oh, it has cruise control. That's nice, I guess. I mean, that's not really what I want, but if you're going on a long ride, that's definitely something that would come in handy, especially given the fact that the Rebel 300 and 500, everybody kind of uh, says that it's not great for long rides. Now you have extra power, cruise control, and an added about 80 pounds to keep you grounded on the, uh, on the ride. This one has a slipper clutch also, of course. Comes factory with a uh, lithium ion battery. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, what? Dude, it has wheelie control. No way. It says, like our high-tech CBR1000RRR Fireblade, the Rebel 1100 features front and rear wheel speed sensors working with the Honda selectable torque control. The system lets you dial in three levels of wheelie control. What? Dude. Okay, that's sick. So is one of the settings turning it off so I can just wheelie it? That's awesome, dude. What other cruiser, I say this and I'm sure I'm gonna get comments like, this one doesn't, this one does. How do you not know? But what other cruiser has wheelie control? That is sick. All right, I just, the more the more I read about it, the more I look at it, the more excited I get. I don't just have $9,300 laying around, uh, but I'm gonna get this. Uh, mark my words, I will be one of the first YouTubers to have this bike, and yeah, it's just gonna happen. I'm stoked on it. I have to have this bike. I'm gonna speak it into existence. So with that said, anybody wanna buy my Rebel 500? What do you guys think? Should I do a raffle for it? Like work something out where it's like $100 a slot for 50 slots or whatever? or $50 a slot for 100 slots and you guys have a chance at winning my bike, maybe do the same with the VFR. I don't know, but uh, it's a 2021, so it's gonna come out next year. Somebody on the forums said that his dealership is already uh, slated to have theirs in on in January. Um, I need Christmas money. 
I need Christmas money so I can buy this bike. Anyway, uh, I'm just babbling at this point. There's a quick little overview of the 2021 Rebel 1100. It's real, it's happening, I'm getting it. Do you love it as much as I do? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully I'll be looking back at this in two or three months sitting on my Rebel 1100 and uh, and going over what it's actually like. So anyway, thanks for watching. I know this isn't the typical kind of video that I do, but I was just too excited and had to, had to uh, have you guys share in that with me. So anyway, leave a comment. What do you think? Are you excited? Are you skeptical? I don't know. I'm stoked. We'll catch you on the next one. Love you guys. Peace.